All right, so this is about uh, getting output. These are some very clear compositing that I want you guys to do uh, for this next assi assignment. So uh, please follow along. Do exactly as I uh, have asked you to do and try to make the kind of best of, um, uh, of these techniques and uh, maybe even advance them. All right, so we have uh, views. Um, this one happens to have a little bit of transparency. Uh, when you take things out of a Revit, uh, there's always going to be some post-processing to do in Illustrator or Photoshop. So just get ready, used to that. So what I'm going to do is just going to take this view and we're going to get it into Illustrator and start to manipulate it slightly in there. So the first thing I'm going uh, to do is just uh, print this. And I'm going to go to a PDF. I'm going to look at the properties. Uh, if yours is like mine, it's on like standard, it's got probably a uh, letter or 11 by 17 selected. I want you to go ahead and get it up to at least press quality and to then maybe just have it on Arch C, which is uh, I think a 24 by 36 inch page size, just so that it gets uh, big enough, even though um, that one rendering may not be that big, uh, that will be uh, what we're going to use. and then uh, just kind of get a nomenclature that you uh, like. This is my perspective one, and I'm just going to call it transparency and save it. And it creates it off in the background. All right, the one thing I forgot to do, though, is to look at this uh, crop size. The size of this will dictate exactly how big it is on the sheet. So I'm going to click on the, the actual crop window, and I'm going to hit size crop here. And yours would probably be something, you know, along the lines of this, 10 inches by, I don't know, 15 or something along those lines. What I want you to do is to change that, use the scale lock portions, and change it to be, you know, something around this. Uh, I lock these so that when I change it in one, it uh, proportionally will change the other one. So I'm going to make it 24 inches, it changes the height to, well, if I locked it, it'll change the height proportionally and apply that. Okay, that looks great. Alright, so let's just go ahead and make sure that we get the correct PDF. Uh, you want to select current window, not visible portion of current window, because that will kind of crop it funny. Uh, current window is the actual cropped window. So uh, no matter if I'm zoomed in or out on this, it'll still show up right. Do a PDF. Let's just check my settings again. Ah, it went back. Press quality is better. Arch C is better. Okay. And I think everything else looks good. Again, I'll call that my transparency. It can't because I've got it open somewhere else. Okay, close that. Try it again. All right, so now it's created that. And then I'm going to go in and just change some settings. The transparency may be a nice effect, or it may end up getting a little muddy. Uh, I may want to control that a bit. So that's why I'm going to put that on its own separate layer. Uh, and now I'm going to go into graphic display. And I'm going to turn off transparency. And I want to get just the line work, and I want this to be vector information. So to get that, I need it. I can't have transparency, and I can't have shadows on. If I have any of those two on, uh, suddenly this won't be a vector PDF; it will be a rastered PDF. So it's critical we change that. The other thing I want you to do is click on smooth lines anti-aliasing. That'll uh, smoothen any uh, diagonal lines, and I. Uh, I think the other thing you might want to do is turn on silhouettes. In another uh, video I've talked about uh, what silhouettes are, they just give a little pop of objects and the other uh, edge of, of objects. So it gives just a bit heavier line weight right there. All right, so I'm ready to export that. Um, let's make sure my settings are good. Okay, that looks great. Current window, okay. This will be my line work. All right, and then the last one uh, or two, 
I might want to do is uh, one, I might turn on shadows. So just turn on those. And in another video, I've talked about shadows and how to control kind of their, uh, how intense they are and the fact that you don't want them to be too dark. Uh, otherwise, it just muddies the drawing, so I expect you to watch that one. Okay, let's say yes. And again, this will be a rastered image since it has shadows in it. All right, so now we have those three going. Uh, we're going to go and uh, open up Illustrator. And I'll just get rid of these. I was working on this earlier. All right, so um, the first thing to do is to, let's just start fresh, heck, why not, is to open up your PDF that has the line work. Uh, if you just place it, you know, normally we'll just, we'd just place uh, 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 images, it will come in as a raster. So we don't want that. We want to actually have control over that line work. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm just going to open up the PDF. And you'll notice right off, well, it's rotated, but it has line work. All right, this is the file that we're going to base everything on. So I'm going to change this to line work, this layer, and I'm going to add another layer called transparency. And then I'll have one more called shadows. Okay, so this one is the current one, and we will now place in the transparent. Okay, all right, you can see they're not quite aligned, but we'll take care of that here in a second. And now we'll throw in shadows. the line work and we just need to do a little bit of shifting or aligning so you zoom in it's really critical that you get these kind of perfectly aligned otherwise it'll look fuzzy you don't want it to look fuzzy as if it's out of focus and that is looking pretty darn good a little hard to read since it's uh, rotated but now that we've got them aligned and all of them in, we can now rotate. And you'll have to change the proportion of your artwork. Maybe that. Just get this thing propping a little bit better. Now, keep in mind that this is just one. This is like my uh, special rendering, my uh, the big the big one. And then I will have to do this with vignettes too. Uh, but this gets me uh, some basic geometry that now I have complete control over. I can start to uh, turn down the shadow layer. So by just selecting this here, I'm going to select basically everything in the shadows. Since it's just that image, it's only that image. So I can just turn down uh, my shadows. So I can do a test plot, make sure that that's coming out right. Um, line work. Uh, this will again take some testing. Uh, but we can see already that there there may be some lines that are not correct. So I might either I'd probably use the scissor tool. And get rid of them. And I can also use select same uh, stroke to see everything that was in silhouette. And uh, if I need to uh, bump that up, 
for whatever reason, I can do that now. That might be a little, a little heavy uh, handed, but um, that's just going to be uh, trial and error. So you're going to have to just check it. All right, so things are looking pretty good. Uh, maybe I want to uh, turn down uh, the transparency a little bit. All right, this is going to have to play with this. Okay, now the last thing I might do is you know put some people in uh, and and whatnot, um, but that gives you the basic idea. Um, I also might want to put a tone uh, on the sky or or whatnot, um, and then if I wanted to do that, it'd be relatively simple to. Um, I might go into uh, Revit and uh, turn on uh, background. And this will give you a kind of typical uh, dark blue. Um, and then you have control over what the ground uh, looks like. Or you should, I'm not sure why it's not changing the ground color, but anyway, so I can take this um, and create maybe a sky layer. Make sure my properties are correct still. I probably would have been better off just to turn off the shadows too. And if I want to make sure these are kind of still in alignment, what I might do is just to grab one of these, copy it, Create a new layer called Sky, uh, paste it in there, and then use that link. So that should be my, uh, my new uh, Sky. I'm going to go ahead and click on um, Relink. And then I'll just pick shadow. That did not do anything. make sure that that then comes in right so I will oh I clicked on the wrong one make sure I click on sky okay I'm going to throw that down below everything let's turn off all the other stuff so now we can see of how to composite just a, a simple drawing. And turn it into something that's uh, quite legible. Uh, probably will print well, though I want to test it out. And uh, gets you a little bit of clarity using the sky to make this uh, drawing pop a bit. Uh, using shadows so we can understand surface. Uh, I have complete control over each of these layers, so if I find it's too dark, you know, I might turn each one down a bit. Uh, maybe turn up if I want to kind of enhance the idea of transparency. I could also uh, go in and save transparency to be even more transparent, so I have more control when I get in here. So there you go. That's compositing. I want you all to use that for this project to finish it up.
All right, thanks.